A helicopter belonging to the Leicester City Football Club's owner has crashed just outside their stadium. It happened about an hour after a home game against West Ham United. There's no word yet whether the club's owner, Vichai Siwatanapraba, was on board. Sports journalist Mark Bolton is on the scene in Leicester for us. Uh, Mark, I know we're expecting a statement from the club, possibly in the coming hours. For the moment, we don't have it. So what do we know and what do we not know? We've had very little information, as you say. Just to clarify exactly what we do know, we've been told by the Accident uh, Emergency Services here and Leicester City Football Club, who have handed with the emergency service the investigation already over to the Air Accident Investigation Branch, who say they are looking into a helicopter crash that occurred just behind us, around 40 metres into the car park, away from the stadium, involving a helicopter that took off at 8.30 last night, British time. That helicopter, we know, belonged to the owner of the club, Thai billionaire who unfortunately we believe through sources who we trust was on board that helicopter. That is unconfirmed as yet. We've spoken to several people who for sympathetic reasons and respect to the family don't obviously want to go public with information they feel they've gleaned or have learned from people in and around the stadium last night. But because it's a well-known fact that the owner arrives on a match day in his helicopter and lands on the football pitch itself and then departs in that manner too, the fact that we know that the helicopter in fact did leave last Last night, according to official sources, it is natural and logical to conclude that the owner was on board and may have been involved in what we believe, tragically, to be a potentially um, life-threatening uh, crash. We've had no confirmation in terms of the medical situation regarding any of the passengers on board. Again, sources have suggested to us we understand there may have been four passengers as well as the pilot, and because there's been no word from the hospital or any other source in terms of casualties or death at this stage, um, we have no more information with regard to that. But we, there was a fireball. Our pictures have obviously uh, confirmed that. We were told that once the helicopter reached the height of around 25 metres, it, it's cleared the stadium roof but then seemed to have lost rotation in terms of its propellers and then descended rapidly to hit the ground. The fireball looks to have caused uh, obvious irreparable damage to the craft itself and the fire investigation team were on site immediately. They've been here all night, they've been doing their work, we've heard little else but we expect in the course of the next few hours to find out a lot more from those official sources. Yeah, a statement accepted, uh, expected from the Leicester City Football Club in the coming hours. As you say, we, we hope to find out a lot more. And for the moment, I should point out to viewers, CNN is not in a position to independently confirm uh, or deny um, what we've been hearing of perhaps that the uh, uh, football club's owner was in the helicopter. We simply don't have that information confirmed yet. Mark Bolton, thank you so much for your reporting in Leicester. CNN Sports anchor Patrick Snell joins me now with his unique insight into this. Patrick, tell me more about the chairman, the owner of Leicester City Football Club. Yeah, Vishay Siwadana Prapa, Cyril, um, self-made multi-billionaire and really the chairman of the club and really a special bond with fans of the Foxes, Leicester City Football Club. Best known actually for founding the duty-free giants King Power. That was in the late 1980s. One of the richest men in Thailand. And there were perhaps a, a few eyebrows raised maybe and when in 2010 he took over the club. He purchased the club for reportedly around the $70 million mark. Now back then Leicester City were in the second tier of English football. They were in the championship and talk about an impact impact investing into the club investing money that would take them to the highest prize in the game a huge huge moment for fans of Leicester City and that's really the, the the Leicester City that's when I came to know as you know I'm not a football guy but that's when I came to know Leicester City that really put them on the map within six years they would go on to win the English Premier League title beyond the wildest dreams of any of those fans I can tell you that they were 5,000 to 1 rank outsiders normally it's a league dominated by the big powerhouse names of Manchester United Manchester City Liverpool Arsenal but this was a team that just defied all expectations and really it was just a superb moment I just want to kind of specify and show you what it meant to fans and really put the club on the global global stage look at these images this is from Leicester City actually in 
Thailand after winning the Premier League title in 2015-2016. The Thai-based king power taking that to Thailand. And the Premier League is already hugely popular all over the world. But talk about this really emphasizing the fact in Thailand. A special moment for Leicester City there in Thailand. And now we're talking about his helicopter having crashed just outside the stadium. We don't know who was in the helicopter, but you've been looking at social media and there's reaction there. Yeah, uh, Cyril, you know, at times like this, the, the global football community it comes together as one. It's really noticeable. And we've been seeing this reaction that has been developing in the hours after uh, this incident. Uh, and certainly uh, I want to pick up on a, a couple of uh, tweets, if you like, from uh, one of the Leicester players, uh, Jamie Vardy, one of the leading lights in that 2015-2016 campaign, taking to social media really quite simply. And this kind of just sums it up. Prayer very much the key word here, uh, along with Harry Maguire as well, the England international defender, very much the same thing, the use of the same emoji. And Britain's biggest club, arguably Manchester United, uh, taking to social media as well. The thoughts of everyone at Manchester United are with Leicester City and those affected by tonight's incident at the King Power Stadium. So you just get a sense there, Cyril, of how, as I say, the football family, the global football family coming together as one like never before. Yeah, and we're hoping for the very best. Fingers crossed as uh, the facts continue to come in on this developing story. Patrick Snell, thank you very much.